This time we're going to take a look at the fight between Sister Cat Sorongvisai versus Juan Francisco Estrada Superfly 2, which took place last Saturday. And before we start the video, I just want to say thank you to everybody who made my video on Superfly 1 such a, such a success. Uh, it really took me by surprise, uh, and I just want to say thank you. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. But on to the, this one. The first thing we're going to take a look at is Sorongvisai's constant use of shifting against Estrada. Even though Sorongvisai primarily fights in a southpaw stance, his power hand is actually his right hand, and he utilizes shifts to set up his right hook money punch. Shifting is widely considered a lost art in the sport of boxing, and Sorongvisai utilizes it more than anyone else I've ever seen in the modern era. It sometimes appears as though his entire game revolves around shifting. We're going to take a look at that in, in the next few examples. So what exactly is a shift? Shifting, or the Fitzsimmons shift as it's popularly known as, is the act of stepping into another stance as a punch is being thrown. Simply put, it is the act of walking while punching. The purpose of a shift is to maintain forward momentum during your offense or to chase down an opponent who is constantly backing up. Now if you take a look at the diagram down below, you see the boxer on the left is in an orthodox stance. Now, and you see in the second picture, he's going to throw a straight right hand, but as he does that, he's going to step over with his trailing foot or his right foot and end up in a southpaw stance. And therefore, in the third picture, he's able to set up a left hook to the body. And that's what's known as a Fitzsimmons shift. Watching this example, Sorongisai is going to throw a range finding jab and hold Estrada in place as he does that and he's going to use that in order to establish lead foot dominance by stepping over the lead foot of Estrada and from there he's going to throw the straight left hand and he notices that Estrada is backing up and fades away from that straight left hand but Sorongvisai is not going to stop there instead he's going to complete the Fitzsimmons shift by stepping over with his left leg and from there he is now in an orthodox stance where he could throw a powerful right hook which catches Estrada right at the top of his head. So once again, he's gonna throw a range finding jab, get lead foot dominance, and then shift over in order to set up that rear right hand. In this example, Estrada is gonna flash out his lead hand in order to probe Sorongvisai, and Sorongvisai uses that opportunity to shoot a straight left hand to attempt to counter Estrada. And from there, he notices that Estrada once again fades away from the straight left hand and Sorongisai is going to close the distance by stepping over with his left leg and turn into an orthodox stance. From there he's able to unleash this three hook combination on Estrada. It's also really important to note that Sorongisai doesn't actually do the, the shift until he notices that Estrada fades away from that straight left hand. Therefore, you could tell he already knows that his distance is being compromised by Estrada stepping back. He's not simply just shifting for the sake of shifting, he's doing it in order to cut off that distance. And from there, he's able to set up most of his offense and really outsmart Estrada, who is clearly the better boxer in this match. The next thing we're going to talk about is Estrada's effective counter punching. Now Estrada established his ability to counter right from the start of the fight. He used the check hook to counter Sorongvisai's straight left while turning him in the process. Turning your opponent is important because it doesn't allow them to set their feet to throw an effective punch. Sorongvisai's lack of a jab in this fight also made this easier for Estrada to do. Here we see Sorongvisai throw that straight left hand and then Estrada steps back and counters him with that check hook. Watch here as Estrada leads with a straight right hand to the body and then have the presence of mind to fade away from the counter straight left hand from Sorongvisai. 
And like I said before, he likes to counter that straight left hand with a check left hook, which he land does so there, and then follows it up also with a straight right hand. Here again, Estrada leads with a right hand to the body and then has the presence of mind to fade away from the counter straight left hand from Sorongisai. And then once again, he's gonna counter him with a left hook and then a right hand. And then have the presence of mind again to fade away from the shifting right hook from Sorongisai. Excellent boxing from Estrada. Now watch Estrada turn Sorongisai in this instance. Here he tries to catch Sorongisai coming in with a check hook, but it misses. So he turns that opportunity to grab a hold of Sorongisai and control him so that he could step over, throw this combination on the inside, and turn Sorongisai so that Sorongisai can't punch him back. Watch how he misses that right hook and he has to turn on the spot in order to set his feet again. Excellent boxing from Estrada. Watch here as Estrada throws a jab in order to bait Sorongisai to punch at him. So there he throws a jab and then he pivots out to the outside and counters Sorongisai's aggression. This is excellent boxing and this is how he gets Sorongisai to give him something to counter. Notice how he throws this jab and as soon as he gets the punch, the response he wants from Sorongisai, he pivots out to the side and counters him with a check hook. Since Estrada pivots out to the outside of Sorongisai's range, Sorongisai has to turn and face Estrada before he's able to punch again. This is excellent boxing from Estrada. The last thing I want to talk about is Sorongisai's distance awareness when he's setting up his offense against Estrada. See, Sorongisai doesn't always shift when he shoots the left hand to the body. This instance is, a, is proof of that. So here, we're going to see Sorongisai feint a jab at Estrada and then shoot this left hand straight at the chest of Estrada, which lands very nicely. But you see here, Sorongisai does not shift in this case. Since Estrada does not fade away from this straight left hand, he is still in punching range and Sorongisai quickly realizes this. And so he doesn't shift, but instead throws the big right hand and then the left hand before disengaging. So you compare that to the, the previous examples where Sorongisai would shift over to an orthodox stance in order to set up the rear right hand. But instead here, he doesn't need to do that because he's already in range after shooting that left hand and he notices that so quick, quick enough that Estrada cannot escape by stepping back. Very good boxing from Sorongisai. As always, thanks everybody for watching. If you like my content and want to see more, please click the red button and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. And now you hook up and hoes know how I feel. Well, if it's good enough to give up a proper chunk, I take a small piece of some of that funky stuff. It's like this and like that and like this, and uh, it's like that and like this and like that, and uh, it's like this and like that and like this. And, uh,